Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, founder of Herbal 411, and we have the pleasure today of speaking with Janine Joswiak, the owner of Nature's Balance in Crystal Lake. Hi, Janine. Hi, how are you? Okay, good. Thanks for coming on to the channel. Oh, thank you for inviting me. It's sure. Really nice. Well, we have worked together with patients, and you have spectacularly taken care of a lot of them that I've sent. I'm glad to know. Uh, it's sometimes tough, though, because out of the patients I sent, they probably have a big list of folks who did not follow up. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to do is introduce you to my subscribers. Okay. In addition to maybe getting other people to understand the benefit of acupuncture, my experience was in my first year out of residency, the hospital always pays for CMEs, and they give you this little allowance. And I decided, I'm gonna to go to Santa Monica. And I found an acupuncture course, and I honestly was going to go sign my name and then go to the beach. And the story that I've given to my other patients a long time ago when I was into this, oh, I had long hair back then, and I was somewhat um, Shao Yang. I was very um, aggressive. Testosterone was probably high. It was a room full of doctors, 600. I took the front seat and I challenged the originator of American Academy of Medical Acupuncture. And I would say, I did things like, you know, if I have somebody that's on the field and he's got an injury and it's iced up, how are you gonna take care of that? And he immediately said, go to the other leg. I threw out left and right and he had great answers. And I was using my um, Newtonian awareness to figure, okay, you have to have an explanation to this, because I didn't understand energy medicine. Right. Science and theory sometimes uh, uh, rubs a lot of me, my colleagues. I love it now, and I think I know the value, not only being a traditional Chinese medicine acupuncturist, but also teaching yoga. It's, it's still a tough sell for me. How do you uh, go about explaining to patients that come in that we could benefit from this? Good question. Um, so it's the most common thing people will ask, you know, they'll have, for example, right knee pain. And, you know, I will go to the opposite elbow and treat, or possibly the scalp. Well, you know, it's my right knee that's hurting. So, you know, the way I explain it to people is, you know, when you go into a room and you turn on the light, you don't go up by the light bulb, you go to the switch. So you turn the switch on. So this is just a switch, the elbow, the scalp, they're just switches. Everything's a microsystem of something else. You know, if I really wanted to get crazy, I could treat the whole body with just the tip of my thumb because it's a microsystem of the entire body. It's a reflection of the entire body. That's the way I explain about how it works. And basically, acupuncture is all about relieving stagnation. Stagnation is, is caused by a physical trauma, an emotional trauma, or a chemical trauma. And if you think about it, it's kind of like we have these hoses, for no, for better, for no better way, running through the body called meridians. And basically what happens is you cut off the supply of blood, nutrients, and oxygen to a particular area from a physical, chemical, or emotional trauma. You know, when you think about it, you get a bruise, you got this big hematoma, you know, you, you got redness, you got swelling. Okay, well that's cutting off circulation. Okay, it's, it's just clamping down on things. Right. And so what we do is we open those meridians up and we open that up. So it's just like if you were gar gardening, you were took the hose out, you're gonna water your plants and you have the water on, but nothing comes on right. when you go out there. Well, if you don't do something to unkink the hose, your plants are gonna die. Same thing is true with your, with your body and with your cells. So we just basically unkink the hose in the body meridians and get everything so going. hopefully everybody is following through the meridia system in traditional chinese medicine if you look it up online you can see lines that go Correct. up and yep. over the body and there's 12 of them that have been practiced since 25 100 years ago? Yeah, a long, long time. You think about it, you look at the many different gyrations, you know, there's Chinese acupuncture, there's Japanese acupuncture, there's Taiwanese acupuncture. Mm -hmm. I mean, acupuncture is been found in many, many cultures. So when did it really start? Who knows? Hard to say, but for sure, it's been around a lot longer than Western medicine. Oh yeah, just a few years. Right, well, what do we have? Western medicine is probably like 200 years or something like that? Yeah, maybe, yeah. And, and I think, I can't dismiss Western medicine. I think data is great. Uh, the millennials now are, are always wanting to know what's going on mm -hmm. with their bodies. I think it's helpful a bit to know data because it engages motivation and uh, participation in the treatment yeah. plan. But as we talked about earlier, there are some people who just come in for a single visit and then they overdo it. 
and then they think it didn't really work. Right. Yeah. Common common things that happen. People come in and they'll have oh this back pain, and so we'll work on the back pain. And you can see physically. I mean, you can see the changes in their face. I mean, as soon as they leave, I see a difference. Their gait, the way the movement is more fluid. So they leave out of here, and then they come back. You know, a couple days later, because typically I treat twice a week is the ideal situation. And um, they'll come back and they'll say, well, you know, how, how was your treatment? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think it worked. And then you got to kind of reel it back and say, because I know it worked. I mean, I can tell it worked. Tell. And so you got to reel it back in and then you find out, well, you know, I left here and I went to grocery store shopping and I was lifting all these heavy bags and then I went and cleaned my house and blah, blah, blah. And I just felt, oh, so you felt really energized, which is a happy side effect mm -hmm. as I say you felt this way and then you did all this stuff and then you got yourself into trouble again because you felt so good right and they say yeah yeah that's exactly what happened so it's it's a matter of I feel so good and you forget how you felt when you and that's the thing is you know a lot of people will come in and they'll feel like you know I always say you know you're in the gutter you're in, you're in bad shape you're really hurting and that first treatment really brings you up really like you know, you're, it's extremes. I mean, you're here and now you're up here. It's like, oh my gosh, even though you're still just barely above the gutter, mm -hmm. it's such a huge difference that people, it's just a huge change. And then people say, well, why don't I feel like that? Well, and that's what I noticed when I started uh, using okay. medical acupuncture after the graduation and the program. I mean, honestly, I didn't go to the beach. I wound up staying for the entire that's course. Good. It took about a year. I apply needles as, as we're supposed to uh, with practicing uh, in, in the clinic. Yes. And I had so tremendous, I remember one lady had chronic headaches and I and she was all red faced and the relationship with the husband was tough. We had some protocols at UCLA, I threw a couple of needles and she said she had no pain by the time it was done. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, this stuff really works. And she actually wasn't red. She had a nice color to her. So something works. I found it successful, but then at the same time, it was so hard to work with insurance that it became defeating. And I just said, you know, never mind, because I was working for an organization that always wants to bill insurance. And sure. it essentially, it got down to me saying, you know, what? I'll just do it on my own. And that, that wasn't fair, but I felt it was necessary to have some people suffer suffering. Uh, are, are there successes that you see during uh, in your last 16 years that uh, you noticed in the community? Yeah, so so for me, the biggest my biggest love is when people come in an acute situation, and and I've even expanded acute to being like during the first month because most people are not going to think of to come to an acupuncturist you know after I you know fall off the ladder. So it's after the first time, then they think about it because mm -hmm. the first thing they're going to think about is you know they're going to do the typical rice protocol, mm -hmm. um, and then they may go see a doctor, they may get some anti-inflammatories, and then it, something happens. It gets stuck. That that's that stagnation gets stuck in their body, and they can't seem to get rid of it. So then they come in, and that's. I mean, the results are phenomenal. Really, really quick. I mean, the sooner you get in for acupuncture, the faster you get results. And I mean, I had uh, good examples. I had a woman come in. She got stepped on her by a horse. Her, her foot got stepped on by a horse, Ooh. and. Um, I mean, she's hobbling in, swollen foot, you know, all bad. And um, we treated her. So she came in the next day. She was walking in like normal. Hmm. Her foot was no longer swollen. Okay. It was all black and blue. And she really had no pain. Nice. So, so that's huge. So the, again, the quicker you come in, the better. The same thing is true with uh, strokes. If you treat a person while they're in, as soon as they're stable, don't wait until they get out of the hospital. Yeah. As soon as they're stable, start putting needles in. The response is gonna be so much better, so much faster, because every second, the pathways, the body is finding another pathway to get around, and it may not be the best pathway. Mm -hmm. So the faster you get in there to re release that stagnation and get things moving properly, the better off you'll be. You maintain that natural pathway of movement and thinking and circadian rhythm or reaction. Exactly. Versus having the blockade there, which is a stroke is a an area of the brain that doesn't get blood flow and dies. And it usually doesn't get blood flow either because there's a big embolus that gets stuck mm -hmm. or there's a bleed somewhere. I think in China they have acupuncturists in the hospital. They, they do. And, yes. and that, that's what we should have here. That would be great if we coordinated the first 
hospital-based ICU acupuncture <laughs> doctor. How did you come about uh, buying into being an acupuncturist? So a funny story is when I was 14 years old, I, um, I heard about Nixon going to China. And he, his press secretary, had, had, had an appendectomy, and they used uh, acupuncture for pain relief and for anesthesia, no less. So no, no anesthetics, they just use acupuncture. And you can use acupuncture for anesthetics, you know, like for dental procedures. It's, a, it's pretty common in China. Okay. Um, I, in fact, I cut my thumb in half like this, oh. and um, it was, I fell on a patio and I just sliced it in half. So there's not a lot of room to numb the tip right. of the thumb. And right. so it was pretty painful when they were trying to stitch it up. So I told him, I was telling, explaining to my husband, you know, like where to press. So he used the, you know, no way. The, this point particular here. And he kept pressing and he was, well, do you think it's working? And I said, well, are they doing anything? Well, yeah. I said, well, I guess it must be working because I'm okay. You know, they gave me, you know, all the painkillers and they gave me all this stuff and I never took anything. And I was like, yeah, they were stitching this hole from here all the way around. It almost actually cut, it almost met in the middle. So that's like, oh, it's pretty bad. That, that is not placebo. That's not you thinking yourself into numbness with your husband applying a, a pressure. Point. On the opposite hand. On the opposite hand. Yeah, so he, they were doing this and he was doing it here. That's fantastic. You know, I remember when I was a kid seeing something in black and white. It was a, the, the Nixon trip. But I remember a couple of, uh, on the TV, a couple of uh, acupuncturists going like this with the needles Twi around. Twirling, the, twirling the needles. Right, right, around the belly that was filleted open. And it just shows you the power of this concept, this science. In fact, I like the way you said acupuncture has a side effect of increasing energy versus... And my medicines, I can I can kind of work with my prescription medicines to not have so many side effects. That's usually microdosing or knowing the right use. But when your side effects are minimal to nothing, I, I, I remember even, I'm not sure if you do this, but I remember even doing acupuncture on uh, folks with warfarin or Coumadin. Mm -hmm. um, in in the, the blood test area of my old office, you have to be really careful about drawing blood on somebody with sure. warfarin or, or blood thinner for fear that they're gonna bleed out. Mm -hmm. Well, I would throw needles in and they would be fine. Mm -hmm. I, I think there was even uh, one word of caution with uh, UCLA as far as needles for pregnant women. Point, there's points when you're pregnant that you cannot use because they're too moving, they're too stimulating. Mm -hmm. However, as you get more towards the end of your term, then that's when sometimes you can use those points to help get things moving along. A lot of women come in and you know they don't want to be you know, have a C-section. They don't want to be induced. So we can use some points to help to just kind of open the channels up, start the dilation process, just Got getting it. things to move along. And it's, and it's really fascinating when you do that because you can actually see, you know, the baby shifting into place. No you know, like for example, um, a breach. You know, you do the right points. We have a protocol that's used and you go home with moxa and they do moxa and the, the baby will shift. Funny story, my teacher, he, uh, was doing a treatment on a pregnant woman and they were doing an ultrasound at the same time. Oh. And he, you know, put the needles in to turn the baby and the baby turned on the ultrasound and he just about had it. He just <laughs> passed, he passed it on the floor. I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this, Human is, needle. this is so amazing. This really works. Once a person, a patient feels the success, you probably have a frequent flyer that yes. will always divert to acupuncture before medicine. Yes. And I'm not saying that you should ever do that, but I think that us working together Absolutely. will empower our community and our viewers and subscribers, our patients, to really have a well-rounded approach. Mm -hmm. Life is balance. Uh, I think that's where we fall short in Western medicine because it's too heavy into, I'll be the one who takes care of the disease, mm -hmm. just take this or I'm to cut you, versus us giving a treatment and then empowering the person to do a better job at living life. The acupuncture is a natural way to rebalance the body and to bring it into homeostasis. So it just, I, I was driving down the road one day and I was in a, an area where there's lots of trees and I thought to myself, and I was coming up with all these names and I had like lists of names and I would ask people what they thought about them. And then I just drove down this area and I went, to admit, nature's balance. That's it. That's it. To me, it makes perfect sense. Definitely. I love this place. I love the energy in your office and I love the story.
I think that we'll be able to do many things together, hopefully soon. And I appreciate the time that you've spent. And I, I'm looking forward to maybe when we present on yes. January 14th. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Yeah, this should be great. So those of you who haven't, uh, we're having a, a conference called Ignite Your Life. We have several speakers that I've uh, done interviews on. Janine will be one of them. If you're stuck, if you're hitting a dead end, or you're on a ton of medicines and you're just not getting any healthier, I think that Janine would be great to be part of your team. And come out to the conference to meet her too. Ask questions, we have uh, enough time. And uh, could you tell folks where your clinic is? Sure, uh, Nature's Balance Acupuncture is in Crystal Lake, right on Route 176, about a block west of 31, so it's really easy access. Yeah, I would love to help anybody who wants to come out and see what they can do to change their life and change their health span as well as lifespan right. in 2023. So, right. Thank you very much for having me. Um, we'll meet you at the conference or we'll see you online one of these days. Yep. Thanks, Dean. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. Thank you very much.